Welcome back to Critics News on another edition. I don't already know how we take the do. So as we take see the matter soon and so we take the talk. Um. So if you never follow us on the social media handles, we are on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. All right. So and I'm um, going straight. They say that uh, so uh, Boko Haram has killed um, about ten soldiers from the Nigerian army. <laughs> um, and um, another top story that we have here says that um, US has come to the aid of Nigeria. I say, what What do they want? Do they want to help us and conduct a um, referendum? Do they want to talk about the genocide going on? They say, no, that they want to help us to identify the sponsors of Boko Haram. What a, what a shame. What a shame. You want to help us to identify. Who told you that we do not know the sponsors of Boko Haram? Buari is the father of them all. So if, you, if anybody telling you that they want to help you, it's just a scam. So U.S. is just scamming you. This uh, woman, this U.S. ambassador here, this woman, um, this one is just a low rear. U.S. eager to help Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism. So you people knows the sponsors of terrorism, and you kept quiet, and they are killing people in Nigeria. <laughs> God is watching all of you. There is God, who, there is God, who, and Boko Haram chops seven soldiers so as they are killing people is the um happiness of the u.s so you people cannot mention that uh so 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 person is the sponsor you you want to you are eager you want to help them <laughs> yes see that is why i tell you that they support terrorism in nigeria when i tell you it's um it's, it's not a lie it's not fallacy it's not a propaganda they are aiding them because if you know when Osama bin Laden attacked America, why didn't they say that we are eager? Or when uh, um, uh, what will I call it? I don't even know what to say. It's because they don't care about Nigeria. That's the main reason why they do not want to expose the genocide going on. But they tell you they support Christians. Support Christian, my foot. Boko Haram claims killing of ten soldiers after invading Nigeria army's base in Bonu. The Islamic State-backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West Africa province, ISWAP, they have province now, <laughs> province one, province two, who will stay here and be still talking, and they will have another province, province two, formerly known as Jamaat al al Sunan Lidawa hmm, Wajihad, has claimed that its fighters killed 10 Nigerian soldiers after dislodging a military base in Ran, the administrative headquarters of Kala, Bag, a local government area of Bonu State. Sahara reporters have reported that the insurgents who overran the ancient community on Sunday night, killing many people, many, killing many people, but America is uh, there romancing waves with terrorism. Romancing. Look at the ambassador. You are carrying microphone. <laughs> want to help us to identify they came with heavy machine guns and trucks and dislodged the nigerian troops of operation Harden kai stationed in the community <laughs> Harden kai they went and the 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 um former boko haram militant a terrorist excuse me that have uh, been reintegrated into the nigerian army gave information okay they gave information to the ones outside and said this is the amount of equipment that we have these are the things that we use these are the things that we have presently where we are stationed so the terrorist the boko haram the eye swap in the bush went and you know equipped themselves with greater heavy duty weapons that we outnumber and overpower the ones that the one uh, the Nigerian army is using where they were stationed. Now they said they stormed the town around 10 p.m. last night, which was on Sunday, and was in and was in charge till 6 a.m. Um, in the morning. Imagine from 10 p.m. four hours of non-stop fire. Oh my goodness! Which means that. Uh, <laughs> Many people, including military operatives, were killed by the terrorists. We can't ascertain the number of casualties for now, a source had said. However, in a test statement obtained by Daily Nigerian, the terrorist group said it killed 10 Nigerian soldiers 
wounded many and seized three armored tanks. Three armored tanks. You do you see it? Nigeria will be overrun. You see that Asorok? You see Asorok today. Go and mark this one. You see Asorok? They will overrun it the same way Taliban militants overrun uh, the Afghanistan government house and took over. That is how it's going to be in Asorok. If we do not do something to get away from a failed nation called Nigeria and go our separate ways, then you know that we have not started. But if it is in the east now, they know that we have nothing. We don't have weapons. That's why they do us anyhow. They bring a scrap and use it to bomb uh, innocent, even farmers. We are peaceful people. That is why they are doing it. But assuming we have those strong heads, like those even I swap, I'll be waiting. Nobody will come. They will, they will run. Nigeria may won't be invading people's houses, IPOB members' houses, and be killing them, burning them, disappearing them. They say in Igbo land now, we have the highest number of uh, disappeared people around Africa, if not anywhere else. Now, they say with Allah's grace, we have killed 10 Nigerian soldiers, wounded many, while the rest ran away and ran, Bono State. The spoils of war, we got three devices, many arms and ammunition. We also burnt down their barracks, two tanks, and then safely returned to our base. The newspaper quoted ISWAP as saying in the statement. So the, the ISWAP people defeated the Nigerian soldier totally, totally. They ran away. Imagine recovering three, Abby, yeah three armored tanks without stress. They recovered them and drove them back to their base. Which means that the Boko Haram have a base in Bonu State. Parts of Bonu State belongs to Boko Haram. We are not talking about it. Nobody is going there. What we Nigeria is now doing is to see whether they can limit their reach. Whether they can wage war against them. You don't understand. Listen. What I'm talking about is that Boko Haram own um, certain locations. Boko Haram owns a, a communi communities. So those places now, nobody goes there. The Nigerian army doesn't go there. Rather, the Nigerian army is stationed somewhere else to see whether they can help in reducing the, the influence of Boko Haram to um, expand or to have more reach. Who is supplying Boko Haram with weapons? Who is supplying them with weapons? <laughs> there are countries involved in all this. And the president is also pardoning them, petting them. Now they have recovered millions of weapons now from the Nigeria. Imagine taking over a barracks, recovering three armored tanks. Three, three armored tanks plus the previous ones. That's how even... <laughs> Even in Taliban now, you, even in Afghanistan now, you will see them roaming with uh, U.S. Uh, kids. It's a shame. Now, they say that U.S. is eager to help Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism, American ambassador. All these ones are empty promises. Shameless people. The United States have, has expressed its readiness to assist Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism in the country. This was disclosed on Monday by the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, okay, uh, Mary Leonard, during a meeting with journalists in Abuja. When the envoy was asked if the U.S. was ready to help Nigeria identify um, sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria, she said talks were ongoing on the matter, the punch reports. So is a U.S. not, can't U.S. publish the names or arrest the sponsors of terrorism, but you want to help us to show the names. Even those people will be going to America and coming, going to America, and you want to publish the name. What will the name do for us? It's useless. Publishing the names of those who are sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria is a useless uh, um, act because we are not going to beat them. They are big men. They have billions. They, will, they are the one controlling the army, the police, air force, and navy to kill innocent people. Now, they said, um, Leonard said, 
that that is something we are very eager to partner nigeria on i have had at least three conversations in the last two months on the subject i won't like to go into details she also alleged alleged fear that the u.s partnership with nigeria may end up like that of afghanistan uh, do you do you understand what we are talking about here now if this this woman have revealed this to us she said that she also said allayed fear fear that the u.s partnership with nigeria might end up like that of afghanistan according to her nigeria ha has had a strong bilateral relationship with the u.s saying that the situations are not the same she added i hear people making the analogy with afghanistan a lot it does not match up <laughs> until they take it up when we are talking about afghanistan did you people believe it when you listen to what president biden said on how troops went to afghanistan in the first place it was because they were in horrible tragedy over 3,000 americans were killed this is different construct the sovereign nations who have had a strong bilateral relations i don't uh, actually think the two match up the commander u.s air forces in europe general jeffrey haringian said the purchase of tucano fighter jets by nigeria was an opportunity to cement the u.s relationship with the west african country and curb insecurity he said the a29 super tucano gives us an opportunity to recount our relationship with nigeria despite using it to bomb innocent people it is also an opportunity to bring together the capabilities on the human side and what the a20s bring to the nation practically as it would contribute to bringing stability to not only nigeria but the region now let me tell the u.s people since on mumu no no never reach the tukano whatever you people give is for um agitators people who are seeking for referendum i've never heard anybody from this so-called u.s that uh, most of us, let me put it like that, most of you feel that they are the savior of the world. I've never heard them say that uh, uh, people are yearning and crying for referendum. They've never mentioned that in their entire lives. All they want is how that Nigeria will remain one so that they can keep the people in perpetual slavery and poverty to keep looting oil with the United Kingdom and keep robbing the citizens so that they can take the smart ones <laughs> since nigeria cannot train you cut the us they will use you and be producing warplanes producing uh, equipment to sell back to the country that you are destroying god is watching all of you and at the in due time god will visit the spread of abductions kidnappings and forced disappearances by security agencies increased there's no doubt that the problem with various insurgency groups have exacerbated the problem. Mm. It is also sad to note that Nigeria has the highest number of the disappeared in the whole of Africa. Okay. It's they heart are. breaking and it's condemnable. Okay. You will agree with me that our dear country is witnessing increasing cases of missing or disappeared persons, mm -hmm. and no part of the country is immune from this. And it is worrisome when our law enforcement agents arrest and detain citizens and refuse to communicate this to their families. Emotions run high as relatives of missing persons share their experiences. I lost an uh, elder brother in 2018 and the questions his children normally ask me uncle where is my daddy a four-year-old boy will ask me is my daddy dead in the last 10 years, 23,000 people have been registered as missing in Nigeria, okay. and the number could be more. This explains the opening of a register for proper documentation of missing persons by the National Human Rights Commission, which will enable family members to get the needed support and care. Is there nobody to take responsibility mm -hmm. 
No, but you. I want to believe that we have all failed. I mean, I failed as an imam to teach you that life is sacred. You all failed as parents to teach your children that killing is bad. Our community leaders failed. Our politicians failed. Governors failed. Especially His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you have failed us. We have your video telling Nigerians that the military is capable. All of you have watched this video and have um, shown um, this video on my previous videos as well. So, um, United Nations says that I swap Boko Haram on the previous broadcast are teaming up. All of them are teaming up to come and take over Nigeria, to attack Nigeria. But this one here is deceiving you, this woman. This uh, U.S. ambassador to Nigeria is deceiving us here, telling us that uh, it, it, it doesn't match up until the water swallows us and you see them, they, they, they will run away. After looting, they will run away. That is when we will realize where we are staying. Do not hope on anybody. America is not coming to save us. They left Afghanistan and ran away. They prefer to uh, um, rescue people evacuate millions than to you know find a proper solution to that even though those uh, afghanistani soldiers are mumu but i don't know about that but what we need in nigeria here is a referendum if anybody from america is watching this video what we need in nigeria as a solution to all this nonsense is a referendum america should stop this aiding of terrorism in nigeria it is evil it is barbaric because the terrorists that you are training today and sponsoring today will attack America tomorrow. Believe it or not, you think that maybe you have escaped, but in one way or the other, they might regroup and visit America. That's my message to them. Help me share so it can get to this woman. Let them not deceive themselves. Again, the deceit is too much. We need a referendum in Nigeria. People are dying every day. Let us, so that when you have a country, you will know those people who are coming to invade you. But when you have created a country, artificial country, added terrorists into it so that you can use the opportunity to be making all year, it's evil. That is why Nigeria is not moving forward. And all these Oyibo people, you think that they are for you. They are, they are against the, the progress of uh, black people.